the World of Wonder Science Museum to show you how to make your very own hand sanitizer. Just in case you run out, like I have. <coughs> Fret not though, because we are going to show you everything that you need to make your very own hand sanitizer at home, using ingredients that you may already have at home, or you can easily purchase from any grocery store or pharmacy. Before I show you how to make this hand sanitizer though, I want to talk to you a moment about proper hand washing techniques. Now, hand sanitizer is a great tool in making sure that you are being cleanly and hygienic and protecting yourself during these times, but it is not 100% guaranteed to protect you from all germs and viruses. Something that can really, really help protect you from germs and viruses though, is washing your hands properly. We can actually show you how effective proper hand washing techniques are using an exhibit that we have right here at the WOW Museum. That is our hand washing station. Right here, I am putting some glitter bug potion onto my assistant Scott's hands, and he's going to rub it in very well so that it is completely covering the surface of his hands. This lotion is specially formulated with ingredients that glow when placed under a black light. The glowing areas represent germs and bacteria living on your skin. Scott is going to first show you how not to wash your hands. As you can see, that quick wash and rinse was not very effective at removing any germs or bacteria that were living on the surface of his skin. This time, Scott is going to demonstrate how to best and thoroughly wash your hands. Notice how he is scrubbing the palms of his hands. Scrubbing in between his fingers. Don't forget the backs of your hands too. It's also best to make sure that you are scrubbing your hands with soap and warm water for at least 20 to 30 seconds. Now, look at how effective taking the time to practice good hygiene can be. Now that we've gone over the proper hand washing techniques, I'm going to let you know the ingredients that you will need to make your very own hand sanitizer at home. We're using aloe vera gel and a 90% isopropyl alcohol solution. I also have here a cup to mix my ingredients in, a funnel for when I add my hand sanitizer to my empty bottle, a stick to stir everything together with, and a one third cup measuring cup. Now, there are alternate ingredients that you can use. Also, maybe some people are having a hard time finding 90% isopropyl alcohol solution. So we have listed some links below showing articles that have alternate recipes for hand sanitizer that are still pretty effective. But today we are just going to be using aloe vera lotion and a 90% isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol solution. When you're making this hand sanitizer, you wanna remember that we're going to be using two parts alcohol to one part aloe vera gel. So today we're using a measuring cup that is a one third cup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure two thirds of isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol and one third of the aloe vera solution. So I'm going to open up my alcohol solution right here. Again, I'm gonna be mixing everything in this cup right here. So again, I'm going to measure one third and then two thirds. Then I'm gonna be taking the aloe vera solution or the aloe vera gel and measuring one third a cup. The ratio of alcohol to gel we are using today keeps the alcohol content of our sanitizer at around 60 to 70%, which according to the CDC is the minimum amount needed to kill most germs. Make sure that you are making your hand sanitizer in a clean and sterilized space, that you have washed your hands thoroughly, and that all of the tools you are using are also clean and sanitized. 
Once you've added your ingredients to whatever bowl you are mixing them in, make sure to stir them together very, very well. Essential oils can also be a great addition to your homemade hand sanitizer. Some, like clove, cinnamon, peppermint, lemon, and thyme, have antimicrobial or germ-fighting properties. All right, and there we have it. Our hand sanitizer, two parts 90% isopropyl alcohol and one part aloe vera gel. Just going to take an empty container now and a funnel. And I'm going to carefully pour this solution into my empty container. Hand sanitizers can be such a helpful tool in eliminating germs and bacteria because the concentration of rubbing alcohol used in them disrupts a virus's outer coat, or in the case of a bacterium, the cell membrane. When using hand sanitizer, be sure to spray or apply it into the palm of one hand and then rub your hands together, making sure to cover the entire surface of your hands and fingers. Rub for 30 to 60 seconds or until your hands are dry. Do not wipe away any excess hand sanitizer. Just rub until your hands and fingers are completely dry. There we have it, our very own hand sanitizer made from ingredients that you might have at home that we already had here at the museum. And we were able to make a hand sanitizer that is an effective tool in making sure that you are staying safe and healthy. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to support the WOW Science Museum by liking and commenting below. Also, please be sure to share and subscribe here on YouTube at Wow Sci. You can also find us on Instagram and Facebook at Wow Sci Museum. Thank you, and we hope to see you soon.